Hi, and welcome to a lesson on finding the gradient from coordinates. Today I'm going to show you how to find the value of the gradient, that is the steepness of a line, from just knowing two points on it. Okay, so in this first case, find the gradient of the line joining the pair of points 2, 1 and 5, 4. Now for this first example, I'm just going to draw, I'm going to show that on the grid. Okay, I'm going to show exactly what I'm talking about here. So 2, 1 is along the corridor, 2 up the stairs, 1 that's there. And 5, 4 is along the corridor 5, up the stairs 4 is there. So it's the line joining those two, those pairs of points, um, that pair of points. So let's take a straight line and draw that line, exactly what they're describing. Okay. Now, um, what I've got here then is now um, so I could say the, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Okay, so if we were doing rise over run, we could create that right angle triangle now. And we could have this being the rise and this being the run. Okay, and it's really straightforward now to see that um, we've got what was this? 5, 4, and 2, 1. Okay, and so the difference in the y coordinates, the, the, the greatest y coordinate is 4. And the lowest one is 1. So 4 take away 1 is 3. A bit clearer. And here with the x coordinates, it was 5 and 2. So 5 subtract 2 is also 3. Okay, so the gradient using rise over run is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. Now, we don't always have chance to have to actually draw these points on a grid. Neither do we have really the time to do it often. So what we could do with is a nice formula for this, okay? If we having if we're given this scenario uh, of two of a pair of points, so given x one, y one, that's coordinates pair of coordinates one, and x two, y two, pair of coordinates two, okay? What I do is I find the difference between the y coordinates. And I, and I divide it by the difference between the x coordinates. So the gradient, and this is worth writing down because it's really important, y2 minus y1. So if we take the second y coordinate and subtract the first y coordinate, in this case it was 4 subtract 1, which gave us 3. And then we divide it by the second x coordinate subtract the first x coordinate. Yeah, okay. And that will always give us the gradients. Let's check it again. So 4 subtract 1 in this case, divided by 5 subtract 2, okay, which is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So this will always get you the gradient, and you don't necessarily have to actually draw it out. Let's go and try it now. I'm going to take a screenshot of it, and we're going to try it on the next page with the next example. And I'm not even going to draw... The, um, even though I've got the grid, I'm not even going to draw it out. I'm just going to have that. Okay, we could always check it at the end. So there's my my formula. Okay, and um, on this question, let's do it. So we've got um, this is can be x1, y1. Not very clear, but yeah, x2, y2. Okay, and so y2 is minus one. So here are the gradients. Let's get these y2 is minus 1 and we're going to subtract y1 which is minus 3 well we know if we're subtracting negative numbers what that means and then x2 is 0 and um, x1 is minus 4 so we subtract minus 4 so what we've we got then we've got minus 1 now if we subtract a negative number that's the same as adding so we've got that in both cases 0 plus 4 and so minus one, add three is two, and zero plus four is four, and that's the same as one half. Now let's go and have a look at it. Let's actually go and plot those two points. So my x1, y1 was minus four, minus three, right there. And then I've got zero, minus one. Okay, let's go and have a look at the rise overrun. Okay, so um, first of all, it was the line segment joining those two points, and then, um, it was rise, oops, which is 2, and run, which is 4. You can see there, 2 over 4. Okay. All right, let's look at another one. 
and do it again and hopefully make it a bit clearer with the coordinates this time. So, um, yeah, okay, so we've got, let's just make that a little bit smaller again. We've got this formula, okay. I'm going to just write out the coordinates now, make it a bit clearer, just in case anyone was confused about that last one. So um, we've got minus two, minus two, and we've got zero, two, okay. Now this is my x, this is my x1, y1, and this is my x2, y2. So my second x coordinate, my second y coordinate, my first x coordinate, my my first y coordinate. Okay, and um, so what we've got then is the gradient is y2 minus y1, but y2 is 2. So gradient is going to be y2, 2, minus y1, which is minus 2, over 0, which is my x2, and my x1, my first x coordinate, minus 2, subtract minus 2. So what have I got then? 2 plus 2, let's say subtract a negative number, and then 0 plus 2, which is 4 divided by 2, which is a gradient of 2. Let's go and check it. Let's go and make sure, make sure we haven't made any mistakes. We don't always have to do this. We can start to trust ourselves a bit more once we get into it. Uh, 0, 2, and let's go and put in the line segment. Um, make it a bold line to start with for that bit. So that's the line segment, and then the rise over run, let's check those out. So yes, it was four and it was two. Rise over run four divided by two equals two is the gradient. So this is a really nice formula just to cut the corner of having to draw this out every time, okay? It's the second y coordinate, subtract the first y coordinate divided by the second x coordinate, subtract the first x coordinate. We'll always get you the difference in the y's divided by the difference in the x which gives you the gradient. Okay, good luck.